Welcome. Today I'm talking about over trading. When I started trading forex with a live account, one of the major problems I had was over trading, and that is a problem that so many traders are facing. They find it hard to stop over trading. They just feel the adrenaline rush to make money. So today I'm going to be talking about over trading and what you can do to stop it. This is how I stopped over trading and i believe if you do same you also have the same results i had so actually what is over trading over trading is the act of taking too much risk on your account in such a way that if the trade should go against you you lose more than you bargained in this video i'm going to be showing you this is the demo account of 11,150 naira and i'm taking a risk of with the loss size of 0 0.07 with 25 pipes stop loss so if you look at it actually i may not enter the 0 0.07 at once but at least if you calculate the total lot it will amount to 0 0.07 this is actually over trading because if the trade should go against me based on the amount that is in this account if that is all i have as an account balance so i'll be losing about 8000 naira at once so that is a huge amount compared to the balance in the account. So that is why it is over trading because such loss is too much to take at once. So another form of over trading is entering another trade in revenge of a loss or trying to gain back my previous losses in the day. So as you can see, this is a sample of what over trading looks like. This trade now is a typical example of what overtrading looks like. So the root cause of overtrading is actually psychological. That is a mindset problem. So it's not really about what you do, the action steps you take. It's more about the way you think and the, the way you feel about money. So it's, a, it's more of a mindset problem. If you can renew your mind, uh -huh, it will be easy for you to avoid overtrading. So let's look at why people overtrade. And the solution the number one reason people over trade is greed or emotional attachment to money people just want to make money fast and double their money so fast in disregard to the law of time and process now there are things that takes time to happen you don't money is something is one of the things that takes time the solution to that to greed because that is the root cause of over trading if you can handle greed or your mindset or the way you feel about money because people are so emotionally attached to money if you can handle that then every other step i'll tell you in along will be very easy for you to implement so the solution to this grid is mental transformation a reorientation of your belief system that is changing the way you think about money because wealth creation takes time so the second reason why people over trade is lack of a trading plan. So many people, upcoming, especially all these upcoming traders, they just jump into the market without a plan. They just want to trade. They just get into the market based on how they feel, based on their emotions. Because they just saw an opportunity, they think that that opportunity will pay them. Now, before you even open the market, you should have a trading plan. That is a written out plan, not something you thought in your mind. A plan you wrote down of how much profit you want to make from that trade. How much you are ready to lose. The loss size that you'll be using. The strategy you use. Which currency pair will you be trading? Or what do you want to trade? What commodity? What crypto pair? What currency pair do you want to trade? And what is your game plan? So you should have a well-written down plan before you take a trade. Lack of a trading plan is the second reason why people over trade. Now, the third reason is previous wins or successful trades. It's always tempting that when you see yourself having successful trades, you want to trade more. You just want to make more money. You just say, let me add a successful amount of dollars. So... But the danger is that you don't know that as you are trading 
as you are making more trades. It will only take one or two losses to wipe out all you've made. So trade with discipline, not just because you feel a uh, adrenaline rush, maybe from your previous successful trades and you feel happy, you keep taking more trades. So previous wins or successful trades have a way of tempting you to want to trade more. So the fourth reason why people over trade is revenge trading, what I call revenge trading. See, the forex market is not against you, nor are you against the forex market. It's a neutral place, so you cannot outsmart the market. The Bible says there's a time to get and a time to lose. There are days when you do everything right, but you still lose money. That is a fact. It's not because you did anything wrong. That day is not just your day. So don't revenge or try to get back your losses. When you see loss, just accept it. Provided you use proper risk management, accept the loss. Wait for the next trading day or the next opportunity. So avoiding revenge trading or trying to get back your losses is only possible when you have transformed, when you now have a transformed mind. And this is something that takes time. It's not a decision you can just make overnight. So I won't tell you that uh, this is, these are the steps you should take and immediately you stop over trading. So the next and the last, uh, the last reason people over trade is when you have excessive, that is number five, excessive or dormant capital. So couple with mental transformation, another easy and fast way to stop over trading is to fund only the amount you want to risk per time and ensure that there's no other dormant money or money that you are not putting to use that is in your bank account that you can use to fund your account again if you blow the first one because what most traders do is because they feel that okay since there's money in my account once they see the trade and they blow their the money they have using funding the account they'll just fund another one since money is readily available so this system ensures that you fund and risk everything in your accounts that you want to use and trade at that particular time based on your plan then put away any other money that then there should be no other money that is at your disposal that you can use and fund again so that is it so over trading can be sometimes deceptive because sometimes you do it and it will go well it will pay you so but remember that as you are doing that it only take one or two trades in a wrong direction to wipe out your accounts or all you've made so in forest there's no guarantee as far as forest is concerned there's no guarantee that all the trades you take will be profitable no matter the strategy you are using there's no strategy anybody that told you that there's a strategy that you can never lose is a big lie once in a while you lose now you are only ensuring that your profits at the end of the day is more than your losses so by the time you cross check how much did you make and how much did you lose probably at the end of the week you see that you are profitable that is the beauty of forest not as if you'll be winning in every trade that is not a possibility so stopping over trading does not happen overnight there's nothing like a, if you apply these things i told you under one week or two weeks or one month you will not be over trading again you will just stop no 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 this is a process that takes time with consistency and practice it took me six months plus to stop over trading for some others it can take you lesser time depending on how committed and how serious you are some people it takes them years or even a year a year plus so this is about consistency and practice not a to-do list that when you apply you can you magically stop over trading no forest is something that takes time process practice diligence and seriousness so what i'm assuring you is that as you keep applying these uh, principles or these five steps that i gave you let me list them out again greed or emotional attachment to money the solution to that is renewing your mind the second thing is having a trading plan so the third is avoiding over trading because of your previous win or successful trades the fourth one is revenge trading avoid revenge trading stop trying to recoup your losses once you lose leave that for the day
be happy and wait for the next trading day opportunity. Another one is excessive or dormant capital. Don't allow too much money to be at your disposal that you can fund at any time. So that is it. So thank you for joining us today. Follow the link in the description if you want to contact me for a private tutorial or you need signal services. Also give signals if you want to contact me, chat me up directly for private paid mentorship. Just go to the description and follow the link. Also drop your comments and your questions in the comment section. Subscribe so that whenever I release a new video or whenever I release a new strategy, it will notify you automatically. So thank you for joining us.